So in this video, I'm going to dive into the details of the very first step of the fiance visa process. You'll want to be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Immigration for Couples, so you receive the future videos that are part of this series. I also invite you to follow our Facebook page, Immigration for Couples. Our firm hosts a weekly live immigration attorney chat. That immigration attorney chat happens on Facebook and on YouTube, and it's an opportunity for you to ask me your questions live. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking, as I mentioned, about the very first step in the fiance visa process. And in future videos, I will talk about steps two, three, and four, so you understand in more detail what happens at each phase of the process. This is something that's been requested by a lot of viewers, and I do read the comments and we do take your feedback. And please, if you're watching this video, if you do a hashtag replay or let me know what your questions are, it's something that I can cover in a future video topic. All right, so let's talk about step one of the fiance visa process. So this very first step of the fiance visa process is something called a petition. It's form I-129F. And with this petition, immigration is requiring you to prove that you have a real relationship based on love, that it's a bona fide relationship, that it's based on love and not just to receive an immigration benefit. So with this application, you will want to provide proof of your relationship. And proof of your relationship, there's all kinds of different ways and different types of evidence that you can use. I'll give you some examples here, but I do invite you to check out our free resource center at immigrationforcouples.com. We have, and I've created with love and care and consideration for couples who are going through the process, understanding that it's, it's a complex labyrinth and wanting to make sure you have resources, I've created this guide that really goes into tons of detail about relationship evidence and the types of evidence you can use to prove your love is real. So you'll want to check that out. It's at immigrationforcouples.com. You'll go to our resources tab and, and you'll be able to access that relationship evidence guide. But in the context of today's video, I want to give you some examples of how to prove your relationship when you're filing this very first step, this petition. So the, the, the top things that people typically think of are photos together, letters of support from family and friends, and that's those are great ideas, that's great um, options for evidence. But you'll also want to include other types of evidence beyond just photos and, and letters of support. Other types of evidence can be plane tickets from visits to see one another, text messages, or a lot of people like to use WhatsApp. So screenshots of any of those messages that you've sent one another. Perhaps you've exchanged gifts. Maybe you've ordered flowers for your fiance abroad and, and you have proof of that, that receipt from the purchase and a photo of the flowers that have been delivered. Maybe you're active on social media. That's a, that can be a great option if, if both of you have been posting photos of, of both of you together, or perhaps you've announced your engagement on social media. That's another great example, screenshots of, of those posts. Maybe you and your fiance have opened a joint bank account. I know some, some couples are able to do that at, the, at, at that very beginning phase before they're married. A lot of times that can be a little bit more difficult if you're living in, in two separate countries and it's not, a, it's not a requirement for that very first step that you have joint finances, but sometimes couples begin that process of, of combining their lives, of joining their lives, and they might have, uh, like I said, a joint bank account or perhaps you've already started a life insurance policy. Those are some other examples. So that is what you'll be doing in that very first step with that I-129F petition is submitting proof of your relationship. The other pieces that happen in this very first step with the petition is you have to prove to immigration that two of you have met in person, that you physically met in person in the two year period prior to filing that application. This is a very strict requirement that immigration has and so you will actually want to make sure you provide plenty of proof that you meet that requirement. So as I mentioned before, plane tickets can be used to prove your relationship is real, that you've gone and visited one another, and it can also help with this two-year in-person meeting requirement. Visas, if you both traveled to another country and you needed visas, stamps in your passport, and then photos. You can do photos, again, a lot of 
phones, iPhones and Androids, pretty much all cell phones have that little information icon that you can open and you can see like when you click on it, you'll be able to see the date it was taken and the location. That can be a really helpful piece of evidence as well. And the other part of this very first step, the petition, is proving that you're both legally free to marry. And so that means that neither of you are currently married and that any prior marriages have, have ended in, in death or divorce. And so immigration requires that you provide proof of termination of prior relationships, be it a death certificate or a divorce decree. And so those are some of the main pieces that go with that very first step. This is, is really, again, you are proving to immigration that you have a real relationship based on love, that you're legally free to marry, and that you've met in the, in the past two years. So that's the very first step of this process. Again, I'm going to be making other videos about the next steps in the process and show you, so you will want to subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel, so you're sure that you are updated about those next steps, the videos that have the next steps in the process. And again, I invite you to check out our free resource center at immigrationforcouples.com. Thanks for watching.